let's see what we got here. Dives to swimming depth of six feet. Apollo DT6. Now keep in mind, I don't know anything about this. DT says these things might work. See, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing, see, I don't like fishing poles. but I, uh, I got some lures here. I have to do some uh, a little bit of research on YouTube to find out what's what's good for uh, trolling behind the kayak. For those of you that don't know, trolling is basically just throwing a line off the back of your boat, kayak, whatever, and uh, just pulling through the water till you catch something. Has nothing to do with the internet, even though that's what most people think these days. Nice and windy day. Maybe it's time to turn around, yeah? Maybe it's time to have a chip. Chew it. Maybe it's time to open a beer and take a little drink. Because it's Friday night. And that's what you're supposed to do on Friday night. Now, it's a nice day out on the Hudson here. Out by the uh, Troy Dam, very lovely. And uh, as you'll see in a second, <clears throat> there's an eagle that likes to fly around here. He's got a nest. I know where it is, but I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, there's some little thing to investigate. What is that? Nothing on the line. What is this thing? Some kind of uh, abutment. Maybe form support for something. Bridge of some kind. I don't know. Pier. What is that thing? Case by metal. Deal with all that ice coming down the river. What did this used to be? Paddling, paddling, paddling. Oh, I see some people uh, they're out in the canoe there. On the right, some more people fishing uh, to the right there down the shoreline. Pretty cool. And we make our way towards Troy. Some birds making noise. Check that line again. Doesn't look good. Nothing. This first lure kind of blows. Or I don't know what I'm doing, you know. One or the other. So let's switch it out. Let's go to the uh, the classic. Original uh, Rapala, I think they call it. This is my first time out, but it's my first time out using a lure that I'm supposed to use because, as I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying things out. And uh, hopefully, we get something today. Got some people sitting on the uh, new seawall there. Pretty cool. Is the old Green Island 
bridge. That is a drawbridge there. It goes up and down occasionally. Dinosaur barbecue on our left. It's actually got people sitting at tables outside, I guess. I don't know what the rules are now, but I guess things have started to open up a little bit. I haven't really been paying attention to the news for obvious reasons. This might be one of the reasons why I may or may not get something here. But I am going pretty much full speed across this channel here and under the bridge. I don't know how fast I'm going. It feels fast though. Here I usually see the fish jumping occasionally. I usually see at least two, three maybe every time I'm out. I have no idea what they are. Because the internet doesn't really work that well though. They don't put good information on it that I care about, you know. But uh I think I'm gonna get an answer as to what kind of fish that is, because it's not it's not a sturgeon, which is the only thing that pops up in uh, Google search results, right? Because it doesn't look like a sturgeon, because those look pretty unique. fast I could to get good progress across the river there. I think I was just trying to get that wind cover in the trees. The sun's 
start and go now. <clears throat> and I'm thinking maybe those fish like this shade. See, at some point, pretty soon, I start feeling kind of a something. I don't know. What it, it just feels different. Because I have the uh, line attached to carabiner which is attached to the strap on my seat. So I use a pole, I don't like using poles, it's just too much equipment to deal with. Just use a nice thick heavy line and pull it in by hand. Keep in mind this is the first time I pull anything in, so yeah, it worked pretty well. Tight, doesn't it? Little pole. Some's there. Apologize for the camera angle here, I should have tilted it a little lower, but fortunately in slow motion I did, did get at least a, enough of a view there to find out what it is and how big that thing was. It was bigger than I expected to pull in. You frame so? It seems that is a northern pike, and that is the fish that I always see jumping out of the water. Apparently they do that. Large part to get away from other fish, or maybe they just feel like it. I don't know. But uh, pretty cool. It's a good catch. And here in front of us, that is the eagle again. He caught himself a catfish. Pulled it in, and it looks like I scared him off here. Either that, or he just didn't like the taste. I don't know. Is a bald eagle. That is the bald eagle that I see almost every time I'm out. He's gonna go uh, find a tree over there, probably to wait me out. So I inspect his kill. Catfish smelled. So it might have been dead already. I don't know. But it just tore it apart a little bit. Flew away. And uh, that concludes our adventures today. This may be the first of several or many episodes. I don't know. Maybe it's the only one. Maybe this satisfied everything I wanted from uh, the trolling experience. I don't know. We'll find out though. All right, if I do this again, I'll do it a little bit better. And uh, till next time, goodbye.